Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing some thrifting at Goodwill. Check out these, these are amazing. More sun catchers, I'm having such great luck finding these lately. Four dollars on the hummingbird. What's this one back here? Oh, a little cat. I can add them to my whatnot cat sale. <laughs> oh goodness. Little fruit basket, two dollars on that one. What's this last one? Oh, look at this one. It's like a rainbow and a valley. Four dollars on that. These are so great. They're in great condition too. Oh, there's another one. A little loon. Oh, these are so fantastic. Four dollars. I thought I saw them all, but I saw this one hanging up in the back. It almost got by me. Look how great this one is fighting with it <laughs> to get it off the little hanger there. How beautiful, the lighthouse and sailboat, $6 on that, it's large. Oh my goodness, what a great finds today. Oh, no way. Oh, this is so good. A little gnome with a mushroom. It has a cute little quilt on him. Two bucks. This is great, how cute. Goodwill is making me very happy today. Look at this. Oh, this is so me. <laughs> it's on both sides, only $2. How precious is this piece? So I'm seeing these little figurines here. Oh, they're really great. She has like a little picnic basket. I don't see a marked. It's $4. I'm guessing it's probably home co, but I'm not for certain. There's a little... Uh, boy, like, oh, he's been repaired, though. That's too bad. I probably would have grabbed a pair if he was uh, in good condition. Do you see it? I can't believe it. <laughs> it's a little goose. Oh, why didn't they switch the blue and the red color around? It should have been a blue bow. Six dollars on that wood. It looks like an interesting state plate down here. Oh, it's Santa's Village. Jefferson, New Hampshire. I love that. I've never seen it in the blue. I have come across these a couple times before. Two bucks. Probably snag that. It looks like they got a few new mugs in today. This cute little Hawaii one. Let's check that over. Oh. It's nice, but it has that gold trim around it, and you can't microwave those. I know a lot of people like to, so. I'm going to pass on that. I don't use a microwave, but a lot of other people do. This one's kind of nice, too. Works Washington. Oh, what is this? Little fox. Oh, this looks nice. This could have some age. Made in Japan, 1984. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. $4. I like that a lot. There was another one behind it. This one has the pheasant. I believe it's the bird. Same kind of design on the back. Oh, that's so awesome. I really like these. There's some interesting open handle mugs up here. So they're unmarked. They're asking 15 for the set. They kind of remind me of Tanala a bit, but I'm not sure. I looked at this last time. It's kind of cute. I like recipe stuff. And it is on sale. The cats keep finding me. <laughs> oh, this is super sweet. Look, he's like reaching in the cookie jar. That's really fun. I was glancing through the pictures. I saw this on the top shelf, a grandparent's creed. The color kind of got my attention, but that's really sweet. It's like a little poem. I don't know if that's uh, the famous poem or not, but it's really precious. I like that a lot. Six dollars on that. There's this little silhouette picture. Six dollars. Oh, another Last Supper picture. I just picked up one in a Burwood. Asking two for it. It's not bad. Is there any damage on it? I think I see a few spots. Look at these little hand painted pieces with a deer. What's the other side? Oh, moose. $4 on that. 
Oh, they taped it over the paint. That makes me nervous. These are kind of great. It might be worth trying. Please tape, don't rip off the paint. It's a pretty good deal. I see some kind of sign under here. I think it's a welcome sign from Guam. I think that means hello. They are having a fill -a bag sale again today with the green tags, so I found these. I was kind of scanning some of the linens that it could fit in the bag easily. It's a blue tag. I'm just kind of looking for green tags. <laughs> this little like dishcloth thing. That's green tag. I might snag that one. Anything else? There was a green tag on something. I don't know where it goes. Little Fire King Primrose Bowl. The opal wear. How much do they want for it? Six bucks. Not too bad. That is a super bright pink. And so I believe this is on Pulley back here. This cat decanter. It's missing its head. It's a little stopper in the top. I want 15 for it still. Um... Yeah, at 15, I don't know if I want to do that with the head missing. You know, that's a pretty significant part of the cat. <laughs> but it's still really cool. If it's a little cheaper, I probably would have picked it up. Oh, here's that little lusterware dish. I saw this in a video I was editing last week, and I was curious how much it was. $4 on it. Lusterware, unfortunately, doesn't sell well for me, and I don't understand why. It's gorgeous. Oh, these are nice. Six dollars would be perfect, very patriotic for the 4th of July season. Yeah, very cute little bubble cabanas. Oh, this is so pretty. This is an anchor hawking chip and dip set. The Harlequin on the bottom, they actually replaced it with a blendo little dipper at the top, which is kind of funny. If that was the full set, that would have fetched like $80. I'm not sure how it would do with the mix and match there. It looks pretty together for sure, though. They're asking 15 Some of the gold's coming off of it, but yeah, it's gorgeous. What? This? You would put chips in here and then you put dip up there. Yeah, you get your chip and you go whoop, like that. This looks like a pretty piece of glass. Looks hand blown. $15. I'm not exactly sure who the maker is, but it's probably a $20 to $25 piece. <laughs> So I was like, why is there just one random boot here? This is a planter. It's legit ceramic. It's so realistic looking. Look at this. Have you ever seen this before? <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Oh, look at these. Two dollars. Oh, these are great. How many are on the shelf is the question, right? <laughs> it looks like there's only three. I don't know, it's hard to walk away from them, even at three. I love these so much. Great colors. I have one of these Uncle Sam banks. I thrifted it early on when I started my channel, like five or six years ago, and everyone's always wanted it. It's really neat to see one again. And this has, like, all the presidents from, like, the 60s. Yeah, 1965. That's great. So let's look into the Kitchen Dahlia area, see what they have. Oh, here's a little floral piece. What's this? Oh, it's like a little glass cheese board for $2. I like that. That's pretty. As Emerald would say, bam, look at that. Three Pyrex. This is the Woodland pattern. It's a pattern I collect. It's from 1978 to 1983. It was one of the last ones they put on the Opal Wear. $10 each they're asking for. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on that. We'll see. Oh, look at this little teapot. Another cat. <laughs> Only six dollars. It seems to be in good shape. How precious is this? This looks like a state souvenir back here. Miami Beach. Interesting. I've never found any Miami Beach stuff before. 2x. That's fine. Oh, well, this is adorable. It's like a little oven mitt and it has recipe cards inside. <laughs> so cute. And there's this interesting mold up here. It's $2. It looks hand painted. It's pretty. 
two cup. What is this? Little spring chicks and pastels are like kind of like peeps, right? <laughs> it's a cute little set. Oh, look at this little duck planter. Oh, this is a sweet one. Two dollars. I'm liking the prices today. I feel like they've been pretty good. It's a little stack of glass bake up here. These could be really fun to use for food prep. We're asking 10 on those. Oh, this is a really beautiful set. This is Amcrest. It is ironstone. And I believe the pattern's name is Mystic. Such a lovely little set here. I can see there's a lot of crazing right there. It's all taped up so it's hard to kind of look at all the plates individually to see if it was really worth it. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this glass bowl. It's a beautiful swirl. Six dollars on that. It's a good size. I'm not sure who the maker would have been on this. It's very beautiful. I love that green. It's almost like a jadeite, like kind of a minty jadeite. This has some age to it. All my Canadian followers, little Quebec plate. Quebec, sorry. <laughs> nice little spoon rest. I like that it has the measurements on it. You guys see that? I spy another piece of Pyrex. Let's see what pattern it is. Early American. It's in the brown. That is actually 22 karat gold. Asking 10 on that. It is larger. It's missing the cover. And this pattern was made from 1962 to 1971. We have a little Holly Hobby plate under here. I can tell it was 70s just by the color of the rim. Really cute. These aren't super valuable. You might get like $8 <laughs> for these, but I love them. Six bucks on it. Yeah, that's about what they're going to go for. Such a nice little plate though. Would you like to glance at the cookbooks with me? Looks like they have a, quite a selection today. Uh, I don't like that they put them down on this bottom shelf this way. I can only see about half of it. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull like every single one out just to see what it is. Yeah. You guys can't see very well either, can you? I'm sorry. What's this one? Weight Watchers Favorite Homestyle Recipes. I like how they did the cover here, like a little cross stitch piece. I'm not sure if their recipes are good. You guys ever tried any Weight Watcher recipes? Really cute cookbook. No pictures in there. So it won't make you hungry. <laughs> the Good Luck Every Time Cookbook. <laughs> what a funny name. What's this one about? <laughs> no pictures, but the cover definitely intrigues me. That's a funny, funny name for a book. What? What is this? A Star Wars cookbook? Wookie cookies. <laughs> oh my goodness, my son will love this. I should get it for him. Oh, that's so fun. A Goodwill worker had just set these out. I thought they were really cute. They're like little Hummel pictures. Oh, here's some of those trivets I like to collect. These ones have flowers at the center. They look all different. I love that they're putting elastics instead of tape on things. Yes, continue to do that, Goodwill, please. Oh, look at this adorable grandpa mug. Oh, it's so sweet. Sweetest grandpa, best grandpa. That's so fun. I love that so much. $2. It was well loved that grandpa got by on some coffee. <laughs> Be sure to come back for tomorrow's video where I go over the haul of everything I picked up today.